Ever wondered why some people seem to have it all together while others struggle? The secret often lies in the decisions they make. We make decisions every single day, but what we do not know is that these decisions have the power to shape our lives entirely. They have the power to determine your future's happiness and success or the opposite. In this video, I'm going to tell you seven decisions that you have to think through before you even make. The first decision is the career you choose. While growing up, most of us do not put much thoughts into choosing our career. I mean, we just go to school just because we had the admission. We just want to do something just for doing something's sake. This can change your life entirely because if you're not passionate about the career you choose, there's going to be a problem. So you have to choose career that excites you and career that aligns with your interests. This does not only bring fulfillment to your life, it also drives you to excel and grow. The second decision is the person you choose to marry. We say this a lot. You cannot choose your family. I mean, we do not have the power to choose our family. I just got to this life and found that my mother is my mother and my father is my father, right? And that will be for life. For life even on the day of Kiyama. But the decision you can make and you can think through is the decision of someone you want to get married to. This is the person who is going to stand by you 24-7. This is the person you're going to go home to. This is the person that's going to take care of your kids or that's going to train your kids. Finding someone you love unconditionally because that chemistry that you have now or that reason you love this person might not be there in few years time might not be there in the future so finding someone who is kind who provides support to you emotionally physically and every other ally that you might need is very crucial a strong partnership will evaluate your life in many ways like in numerous ways and also most importantly you have to go with the person that will have this mutual growth the third one is the friends you select. Have you ever heard of this saying, you are the sum of the five people you hang around. Surrounding yourself with positive individuals foster positivity that is within you. You have to surround yourself with people that are interested in your personal growth that it is not always about them. People that are interested in your own growth as well as they are interested in their own goal as well. People that are kind, people that are positive all the time. On the other hand, being around negative influences can lead to negativity in your own mindset as well. Choose a friend who inspires you, who motivates you and uplifts you while you are doing the same to them. The next decision is the location that you live. I mean, you might have been hearing this Idra, I'm going Idra, I'm doing Idra to this state, I'm doing Idra to this country. It is true because they really know the implication it has on their lives okay if you want to be a certain way you want to have a certain mindset you want to have a certain growth there are some certain countries that might not be the best for your values like for your they might not align with your goals the location you want to live or you live plays a very important role in your life residing in a place where you feel happy energized you feel motivated and inspired can propel you towards your success sometimes people move because they just need the they feel the need of sunlight right if they are in a country where there is no sunlight at all like it's always snow cold you know all the time they move to a, a place where by the way if you're hearing any voice here i have another host here my baby is here <laughs> patiently or silently or she's really admiring me as i'm talking and i think it's time for her to talk as well so if you're hearing any voice just pardon us we have a little baby at hand okay so some some might just move because they want the sun some might move most especially they move because they feel like the state they are in are not allowing them to serve their lord which is allah the, the state they are in is not really a conducive environment to train kids the way you want your kids to be find a place that aligns with your lifestyle your goals and your aspirations the fifth decision that most see this is what most of us like sleep on all the time and it is a game changer this is very 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 important is the food that we eat see we might just think that we are enjoying our lives we are you know we are flexing we are doing all those things eating junks eating this and that all the time the food you eat has a very important role in your life starting from now not to talk of few years later 
Do you know the amount of people that are regretting of their food choices, of the food they eat? The amount of not even old people, middle-aged people now start having high blood pressure, they start having diabetes, they start having other things. I mean, these things can come, you know, with your gene. It might be hereditary, but even with eating healthy and exercises, there are ways to combat, you know, you having all these things. Because eating healthy and exercising is underrated. It is really underrated. Constantly consuming unhealthy food leads to poor health, leads to fatigue, leads to low energy. One thing that we do, most Africans, I would, like I can proudly say most Africans, we tell our kids all the time, make sure you finish that food in the plate. When you know that, and this is something I do, subhanAllah, I think I'm just going to start with myself. I'm going to start that development with myself first. You're going to get a lot of food on your, on your child's plate. And you will instruct the child that make sure you finish that food in your plate. When you know that it is really unhealthy, even the prophet said you divide you divide your stomach into three. One part should be for the food, for water, and for air. Okay? So we need to learn to listen to our body. Studies have shown that people that ate 70 to 80 percent, you know, of their what should I say? Like fullness of their stomach. Are more healthy than those that eat that you overeat right we tell our kids to finish this make sure you finish that food in the in the plate sometimes we know it is not healthy sometimes their their body is like full already their body is signaling them that this food is okay we can stop here and your child tells you that i'm okay and you're like no never i'm talking about me okay <laughs> you're like never make sure you finish that food in the plate otherwise i will not take you to this place i will not get you this i will not get you that and the child finished that let's just follow what the prophet said by dividing your stomach into three parts and you will be healthy consuming healthy and nutritious foods provides you the right energy leaving you feeling rejuvenated and it promotes your overall well-being remember this is very important to remember a healthy diet equals to a healthy mind and a healthy body Assalamualaikum. <laughs> okay the next one is the financial habits you cultivate when we have money it's my time i need to spend this i need to get this this money is for me you know that kind of adrenaline rush that you have whenever you get some money you're like oh i'm gonna get this watch i'm gonna get this hijab i'm gonna get this abaya just just take a deep breath and think do i really need this thing at this time you know if i don't get this abaya if i don't get this watch if i don't get this thing this shoe or this bag in what way will it affect me if it if that shoe is the shoe that you want to wear to work right of course it is important and you need it but if you don't need it just kind of think it through before you make that decision because managing your finances wisely is crucial for your future and your stability whether it is saving investing budgeting developing healthy financial habits early on can pave a way for a comfortable and prosperous life make informed decision avoid unnecessary debt and plan your future the next one is personal growth and development continuously striving to improve yourself mentally spiritually emotionally physically is essential for a fulfilling life setting goals for personal growth and continuously working on them can lead to a greater self-awareness satisfaction and overall happiness embrace a long life learning you know system and never stop growing oh why so there you have it these are seven important decisions that can shape your life take the time to make thoughtful choices in these areas and you will surely be on your way to a happier and more successful life i hope you enjoyed watching this if you did give me a thumbs up <laughs> and also subscribe if you haven't you can also check out this video if you want to know more about decisions that you make in your life assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh